The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, There will be signs in the sun and moon and stars. On earth, nations in agony, bewildered by the clamor of the ocean and its waves. Men dying of fear as they await what menaces the world, for the powers of heaven will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. When these things begin to take place, stand erect, hold your heads high, because your liberation is near at hand. Watch yourselves or your hearts will be coarsened with debauchery and drunkenness and the cares of life, and that day will be sprung on you suddenly like a trap. For it will come down on every living man on the face of the earth. Stay awake, praying at all times for the strength to survive all that is going to happen, and to stand with confidence before the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, you know the word Advent comes from Latin, eh, Adveniat. In English we say Advent, which means uh, something is happening, something is coming and of course we know well that uh, with this season we prepare ourselves for the celebration of Christmas but uh, the Advent season is also an occasion to be more aware of the meaning of the time in fact Advent reminds us that we are living the time or a time in between between the first coming of the Lord in history at Christmas, but we are preparing ourselves and we are waiting him for his second coming in glory. So the Advent let us become aware that we need to value a lot our time because uh, the kingdom is coming, because the Lord is coming. I would say that uh, Advent is like a wake-up call. Uh, uh, we all know in the morning uh, when we have a, a commitment and so no, we, we use or we ask someone no, to wake up no? so the wake up call because uh, in the liturgy in the gospel we have proclaimed today and the Lord reminds us stay awake so we can become aware of the value of the time if we stay awake. Unfortunately, we know that in our beloved Catholic Church, there are so many sleeping Catholics. Eh? And there are also so many sleeping Christians. No. Advent, wake up us. Stay awake. Because uh, if we stay awake, we may see, we may acknowledge the signs in the gospel today. We proclaim the Lord remind us that will be some signs preceding his second coming. If we stay awake, we may more understand what is happening around us. If we stay awake, we may prioritize God in our life. So, dear brothers and sisters, Advent season means also no excuse to prioritize God in our life. No excuse. Unfortunately, dear brothers and sisters, we know this very well, excuse give us permission not to move on. And we are very intuitive to find excuse. Yes, Father, it's been a very busy week, you know. I have no time to go to Mass this Sunday, you know. You understand it. 
Yes, Father, yes, I, I know I will change something in my life, but I'm not ready. I know something needs to be changed in some of my attitude, but I'm not ready. No excuse. This is Advent. Advent means no excuse. We need to prioritize God. We need to move on. We cannot stay and remain where we are. So, dear brothers and sisters, remove all the excuses and prioritize God. Because uh, to belong to Him means to prioritize Him. Of course, uh, dear brothers and sisters, uh, we need some help. We need some guidance in order to become more and more awake of the meaning of the time, of the value of the time. That's why we cannot wait, no excuse. And this help comes to and through the three leading personality of the Advent season. Now, there are three leading personality, three leading personage, three leading figure that help us during this Advent season. First one is the prophet Isaiah. You know, we during this season, we will read almost every day passage of the prophet Isaiah. The prophet Isaiah was the one who 600 years before, 600 years before the birth of the Lord, he announcing the Emmanuel and the coming of the Emmanuel. So the prophet Isaiah, through the meditation of the reading of the prophet Isaiah, we become more aware of the time that the time is becoming shorter and the Lord is coming. And of course, the second great figure, the second great personality of the Advent is John the Baptist. John the Baptist, we will uh, hear a lot about John the Baptist during this Advent season in the liturgy. John the Baptist prepared us to meet the Lord. He was the one actually who prepared the way to the Lord. And of course, uh, Dear brothers and sisters, the third personality, the third figure of the Advent is the Blessed Virgin Mary. Uh, the Blessed Virgin Mary receive God and deliver God and make that God is the Emmanuel, the one among us. So the prophet Isaiah, John the Baptist, the Blessed Virgin Mary may help us to remove all the excuse, to wake up to stay awake, to read the sign, and to receive the Lord. But of course, uh, dear brothers and sisters, the question is not when these things will happen. We have proclaimed in the gospel today that will be signs. No, The problem is not when this will happen. Unfortunately, I see many of our... Uh, brothers, preachers, who they preach a lot about the coming of the Lord, the fact that the coming of the Lord is, it will come very soon, or maybe they terrorize people on the way that the Lord is coming, that this event will happen quite soon. Dear brothers, this is the problem is not when, this is not the meaning of the gospel. Nobody knows when this will happen. Even if uh, in uh, some of our uh, brothers uh, who are professing other religious and Christian denomination, this is one of the leading you know, arguments in their preaching. Nobody knows when it's happened. The question is not when. My brothers and sisters, the question is how. This is the meaning of all the preaching of God through our Lord Jesus Christ, about the kingdom of God. So the question is not when this thing will happen, when these signs will happen in the stars, in the moon. Nobody knows the problem and the question is how you are living, how you are preparing, how you are professing your faith in order to receive the Lord. The question is not when, the question is how. And in our preaching, in our meditation, we will encourage people to see how you are living your faith. 
how you are living your attachment to the Lord, how you are prioritizing God in your life. Let us put aside the question of when this will happen. We just trust the Lord, but let us really increase in us the meaning of how we are living our faith. That's why we have to remove all the excuse to remain awake. Of course, uh, dear brothers and sisters, this Advent season this year will be a very special Advent season because, as you know very well, the 8th of December, Solemnity, the Immaculate Conception, our beloved Pope, we today send to him a special uh, love because he's concluding his uh, trip in Africa. No? He, today he's in Bangui, in the Re Central African Republic. The Holy Father, the 8th of December, will open the door and will officially, of the Basilica of St. Peter, and will officially start the Jubilee of Mercy. So a very special Advent, the Advent of Mercy, where really, through the mercy of God, we may conform, we may revise our life to know, Lord, how I am living my faith. And then through the help of the Blessed Virgin Mary, John the Baptist, Isaiah, we may help to remove all the obstacles in order that we may Think on how, not on when, this will happen. Dear brothers and sisters, the liturgy of the Advent is really a beautiful liturgy. We have so many beautiful hymns during this season. We have so many beautiful songs. Every evening, in the evening prayer of the Advent season, we sing Conditor al mesiderum, eterna lux credentium, which means uh, you, God, are the creator of all the stars, of all the heaven. You are the eternal light of all those who believe in you. So, dear brothers and sisters, that's why we have uh, enlightened the candle today. Because indeed, we want to believe, we want to express that uh, our God is not only the creator, it's also the light, the light of our heart, the light of our world. That's why we pray continuously during this season, come Lord. In Spanish we say, ven aquí Señor, ven aquí Señor, come Lord, come Lord. Remove from all our hearts all the temptation, remove from our hearts all our excuse, keep us awake to meet you at Christmas with joy and hope. Amen.